Hey guys, what's up? This is Nikhil from Dope Motions and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. Today we are gonna take a look at creating this kind of 3D looking motion graphics into After Effects using a third party plugin called the Trap Code Form. So I hope you have it and if you don't, there will be a link in the description so you can go and download the plugin and get back to this video as quick as you can. So before we get started, let's just have a quick look at what we're gonna be creating today. It looks pretty good and pretty advanced but it is actually very simple and pretty straightforward effect. So without further ado, let's just get started with the tutorial and I'll show you how to create this awesome effect. So first of all, I'm going to create a new composition and name this tutorial. And I'm going to keep it at 1280 into 720. You can of course pump it up to 920 into 1080 which will make things look more better but just for the tutorial sake and to keep on moving a little faster I'm gonna set this to 1280 to 720 then I'm gonna create a new solid by hitting ctrl y on the keyboard and name this form hit ok now before we get started make sure you download the two images that will be in the description the link to that images will be in the description so first will be the earth png image which will look kind of this and the second will be the earth outline image which will look kind of this so make sure you have both these images downloaded because we will be needing these images so yeah make sure you have it and just now I'm gonna just delete this and just drag both the images in the comp we can hide this up don't need it actually we need it but we don't need to see it sorry for that so I'm gonna select the form solid that we just created and go to effect trap code form now this is basically a 3D particles plugin. So if I create a new camera pretty quick, you can see we can do some crazy stuff with this cause it is actually 3D. So we will not play around with this thing for now. We're gonna work on, we're gonna focus on what we need to create. So I'm gonna change, first of all, I'm gonna change the box form or the box grid to sphere layered and set the number of layers to one and increase the size of XYZ to 1000 or maybe 1000 will go too high maybe 600 should look good so set this up to 600 yeah perfect then I'm gonna play around with the particles but before playing around with the particles I need to add the image as a map on it so to do that what we can do is we can go to a layer maps go to size and where it says none just select the earth png and you should get something like this which actually looks pretty cool so now we can increase the particles in x so you can see we can increase up whatever we like or whatever you wish for so let's just set this to 200 to 200 uh, this looks pretty good yep looks pretty good you can also play around with the size of the particles so i'm going to set this to 0.8 make it look really good maybe 0.7 yeah this looks pretty good now I'm gonna create the outlines of the map or of the map yep it's the map <coughs> anyways bad joke and before doing that I'm gonna name the form to land and set the rendering to normal then I'm gonna duplicate this up and Go to the layer maps and set the earth png to the earth outlines. So now we should have kind of a little bit outlines. So to see that properly I'm going to go to my particles and the base form. Just increase the particles in x and particles in y. So maybe we can keep this up to 600 and this to 600 as well. And yep there we go. Looks really cool also increase the size a little maybe 0.8 just to make it highlight a little bit and there we go pretty easy and pretty straightforward you see looks really good now I'm gonna close this up and name the land to that is the outline to the outline there we go so that we don't get messed up 
Then again, I'm going to go and just duplicate the land. And this time, I'm going to name this particles. And we're going to create kind of a dispersed particle effect, which you can see in the preview. You can see this particles getting dispersed from the from the earth. You can say so. To get that effect, it is pretty simple. Just go to the disperse and twist, and just increase the disperse. Now you can go pretty wild with this, but I'm gonna go very, very subtle, just to about maybe 20. Should look good. Maybe I'll decrease the particle size a little bit to, let's say, 0.5. Should look good. Yeah, that looks pretty good. You can also increase the size randomness, but I'm gonna not do it for now. Set this to zero. And there we have it. Now the next thing we are going to create is this outer earth or the outer map you can say which kind of looks pretty good. It's on you, you know, if you want to create it, create it. If you don't want to create it, just leave this around. So just duplicate the land and I'm going to name this the outer land. And I'm going to go to the base form and just increase the size of X, Y, and Z to 1000. Yup, that looks pretty good. Maybe particle size to 0.5. Just to make it look really, really subtle. And yes, it is looking. Yup, it's looking pretty good. You see, it looks pretty good. Now, we are going to color it first of all. Now, I'm going to use a very different way, or not a very different way, but a unique way to color it. Now, you can obviously go into land, go into particles, and just set up a particular color like this, you know. But what we can actually do to make it look more cool, I'm going to create a new composition called this color map. Okay, and create a new solid by hitting Ctrl Y. Let's call it map, and add an effect called fractal noise. There we have it. Then I'm going to change this from basic to dynamic, or maybe a smurry. Yep, and increase the contrast a little bit, maybe complexity a little bit. You can play with. Also increase the brightness. We don't need to increase the brightness actually. We can also play around with the evolution or the random seed. Maybe a little bit of more evolution I need. Yep, there we go. Then we need to add some color to it. So I'm going to use the tint effect to color this up. Uh, set the blacks to something like a darker blue. Something like this, and the white to kind of a lighter blue, something like this. So yeah, there we have it. Now, now what we need to do is, I'm going to go back to the tutorial comp and drag the color map into it, and just hide this up, and go back to our form layer that we have it. And if I go to my land that we just that we created at the beginning, just close all the tabs. And if I go to my layer maps and go to color and alpha, we can change the layer from none to color map. And instantly you can see we get this cool looking color effect. Now, I know I should did this before, but I'm sorry for that. So you, you need to go in every, every, you know, every effect or every duplicated effect and just go to the layer map, the color alpha and change this to color map. So you can of course create some really cool maps and colorize them and make it look even more better. The you know basic concept behind this tutorial is just to give you guys an idea of what you can actually do with these things. You know this cool effect and this cool plugin. So don't just follow the tutorial. Just you know play around with some settings and try to create your own effect. Set this to color map as well. Yep. And last change into the particles. Go to 
quick maps oops sorry for that layer maps color alpha and color map and there we have it now you see our effect is looking interesting and more cool see it looks really really good now we're gonna create that lines you can see on the outer side now this is pretty optional if you want to create it create it if you don't want to create it just skip this part but trust me guys this looks pretty good what we're gonna create now so I'm gonna duplicate the land again and name this the rings then I'm gonna go to my base form and just pump down the particles in X to somewhere around not the particles in X I think the particles in Y to maybe two and the particles in X to maybe 500 and we should get this kind of rings if you can see I'll just increase the size so that you can see it more properly you see these rings on the side but as you can see this are not the complete rings that we need so to get this I'm gonna just go to my layer maps and set this to none we should get something like this oh I go to my color map sorry for that I'm gonna go to my size and set this to none and we should get this kind of cool looking ring so now you can do some crazy stuff with this you can go to the particle size I'm gonna decrease it a little bit just keep it a little thinner then you can increase the particles in Y to somewhere around this. You can do some crazy stuff. Maybe I'll set this to 5. Okay, then I'm gonna go to the world transform and just scale this up a little bit. Oh, I said a little bit, I know. Just scale this up a little bit. Somewhere around 110. And yeah, this looks pretty good. Set this to 0.5. Make it look really, really subtle. And 0.7. And as you can see, it looks pretty good and give us that, you know, sci fi kind of look. And I actually like this. You can also rotate it if you want, you know. You can rotate it in the X rotation, maybe. Maybe in the Z. Yep. Z looks more cool, but I'm gonna set this to maybe I'll keep this like this, it looks more better. Okay, so we are done with the rings as well. Now we are gonna create. Let's just have a look at what now we're gonna create. So we are, we are done with the rings, we are done with the outlines. Now we need to create these particles that are shooting outwards. So to create that, what we need to actually do is create a new solid and name this particles hit ok go to effect go to trap code and select trap code particular now this is basically a 3d particle generator which will generate some 3d particles so let's just get started with the effect so first of all i'm going to go to my emitter settings and set the velocity to somewhere around 300 and the velocity randomness to zero then I'm gonna go to a particles settings and change the life second to maybe two and spear feather all the way up to hundred size to zero and there we go then I'm gonna go to my ox system and set this to continue so we should get something like this some dotted lines going on right over here and let's just customize this up so I'm going to set the particles per second to 100 and the size to maybe 1, opacity to 100, then the color over life to this preset and I'm going to select a bluish color or create a bluish color so that it goes with the theme. You can of course color as you like, you know whatever color you like set so the op opacity over life to this preset that we have right over here or maybe this looks pretty good yeah this actually looks really good 
then we can also go into the color life and just make this up a little bit more bluer. Just change this color to a little bit darker. Makes it look more good. There we go. We have this particles shooting out pretty randomly. You see. So now I'm gonna go to my control from main particles and just increase the start emit to somewhere around there so that it gets started from the earth, not from the center. As you can see, uh, looks really, really good. Now the last thing that we need to look on is the camera. So if I hit AA to bring down the properties and just turn on the depth of field and set the aperture to somewhere around 70 and the blur level to somewhere around 250 should work good and now as I move the focus distance you can see the earth getting affected so the part you can see right over here is in focus and everything else is getting blurred out now this is gonna give us a really cool effect and this is basically the settings that I use and just I just randomly you know use some different camera angles so you I'm not gonna show you this you can just you know just set a particular camera angle duplicate the camera and do some great things so it is pretty simple so I'm not gonna waste my time on that and obviously your time as well so yep that's it I guess and one more thing yeah the one more thing I wanna leave you with is Is if I create a new adjustment layer and go to effect and go to magic bullet suit suite and go to magic bullet looks you can choose a preset from here as well and make it look more cool and interesting you know make some sci-fi scene or something like that you know create some great stuff this will actually you know help to improve or enhance your work as well some color grading you can see looks pretty good let's select this one okay now it may you know it may make some very little changes but that little changes will make the big differences so if I just turn off and turn it on you can see the difference it makes our design look or the work look more pop out a little bit so yep yeah, I hope this tutorial was helpful to you guys and if it was don't forget to subscribe, comment and like and if you like my video go hit that like button and if you dislike my video let me know in the comment section why you don't like my video. So yep that's all for now. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video. Don't you slide them in